1973 to 1983. In 1974, Kennecott completed the Garfield smokestack, built to comply with the new Clean Air Act. At over 1,200 feet, it was a towering achievement. But copper prices were once again in decline, and Kennecott was losing the support of the community. Acquiring the town of Lark as a reclamation site, locals were forced to relocate. 81-year-old Hilda Grabner led the protests, and Kennecott did the honorable thing, granting residents the compensation they deserved. But it was clear that big changes were needed. Chairman Thomas Barrow led the revival, starting with the completion of the Garfield Smelter. A radical rebuilding at Bingham Canyon followed, dramatically improving efficiency. The sale of Kennecott to the Standard Oil Company of Ohio saved the business from a deep recession. Then in 1983, $23 million of investment was approved to further expand Utah's copper supply. Replacing rail operations with trucks cut costs, boosted productivity, and helped get Kennecott on the road to better things. 1973 to 1983, a decade of big tests and bold moves. <laughs>